welcome to Thorny Museum. We're a community museum run by volunteers in our village just outside Peterborough. The museum's been here since 1987 and one of the people who set it up is still on the committee and still very involved. We try to show people the history of Thorny throughout the ages. We've got some archaeology, we talk about the medieval abbey that was here and then in the Victorian period much of the village was rebuilt to make the special houses and other shops and things like that which people visit for. We've also got a lot of information about people from Thorny who were affected by war in the 20th century. This year we've been involved in a project with a local person called Eloise and we've been looking at the life and the works of Tycho Wing who was the Duke of Bedford's agent. He was in charge of all the work that happened in Thorny in the 1840s. As part of this work Eloise has painted some of the Thorny Lump bricks and you can see those in the museum and we've also done a lot of research about the life of the man himself. Why were you interested in working with the museum? Um, it was more of a, a little side project, I guess, more to do activate different things coming from different artistic areas. I just came back from an artist residency and seeing what I could do in the local area, which, which I mean, it worked pretty well considering I found something in my own village. And it kind of, I remember it, seeing it on Facebook as like an advert and then messaging you after it was like, What's it? and then you came in back like, oh yeah, we, we had a chat, didn't we? And then. I can't remember it such a while ago. Yeah, I, th and I think we decided that Tycho Wing was an important person to the village because he, he started the project to rebuild 80% of the cottages in the village over a few years. And he, didn't, and he was someone you could get involved in. Yeah, like when I was doing the research behind Tycho Wing, he didn't get very far, as in he did the, the first few cottages and then he had plans for the rest of them, but he only saw a couple of them actually being made. Um, so I think that was kind of important because these ones here, they were, they were the only ones he really saw. So they were ones he did make and design and that's why I chose that one specifically because of the, it, it was close to him I guess. And so we've, we've got the banners particularly so that we can take this work out. Yeah. The yeah. bricks aren't quite as easy to move as the banners <laughs> are, uh, but the bricks um, will stay in the museum and in our new cabinet that we're getting. Yeah. Whereas the banners we can take to other village events and in fact that's why they went to the Thorny Abbey Flower Festival so we could show them to hundreds yeah. of other people. And we actually used the footage from when we went to the archives on the banners. So all of this was all our own kind of findings. Okay, so this is a uh, map of Thorny from the uh, 1800s. This is more so talking about the field sizes and whatnot. So, from a modern map, you would normally see more houses around this area, but um, because this is from the earlier ages, it's more so focused around the size of the fields and numbering them. Um, so looking around, you can see all the way up to 256, to, well, the Florida Park, which is num number 233. But um, yeah, this normally is a, a more modern map compared to some of the older ones in the further part of the museum, say the large one over there. But um, yeah, it gives a large area of thorny. So the rings really caught my eye because the patterns and the colours. And this note says one of them was moulded in what is possibly tin and the other possibly aluminium. So the medals really caught my eye because I just wanted to know what all of them were. So these are military dress medals and they were awarded to a wing um, commander who was born in thorny. And he retired as a chief engineer to the Queen's flight and you can see more about that on the um, 1940 timeline. We have a range of different things that you can come to see in the museum. Behind me is the town plan of Thorny from 1848 which was done to help in deciding what to do next, which buildings needed to be replaced. We've also got an interactive machine that means you can watch short films and learn about the, th the profiles of about 30 people from Thorny who we think are important. You can visit the museum on Sunday afternoons in the summer, so normally from Easter Sunday until the end of September on a Sunday afternoon. 
We open for special village occasions and if you go to our website and make contact we try to open by appointment as well. We particularly like having groups that we can show around our village.